Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Subhub Podcast. I'm Danny Moreno. And I'm MK Sullivan. And today with us, we have Alex Lawson, um, a member of the trail team. Last year in uh, the Loon Mountain race, she was third, just missing that Team USA spot, but still pretty badass for your first uh, trail season nonetheless. She's a Nordic skier by trade. Um, she skied for Middlebury College and was an All-American. Um, she's competed for Team USA at the U23 World Championships, and um, she has been racing professionally for the last two years in following the Super Tour circuit, uh, which mostly focuses on races here in America. And this year she competed in her first World Cup events over in Europe. And we are so excited to learn about your kind of transition into trails. I imagine you'll still be doing some Nordic skiing, but um, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. So let's start with your result at Loon Mountain last year, third place. Uh, that's huge. You're just one spot out of the USA team. I'm guessing your goal was to make the USA team, but how did that race go and how do you feel about it? Um, I actually didn't really have any idea that the US, you could qualify for the US team <laughs> in that fine. race. Um, I did it just because it fit well with training for skiing and I love running and I had done that race before many years ago and kind of had a pretty tough time. <laughs> so I wanted a little retake. Um, and yeah, I think during that race, I felt good and I was having fun and I think I started kind of slow and then I was like, Oh, I can, I can actually go a little faster. And, and then afterwards, I, I mean, I didn't realize that the top two got, got the spot. Um, I don't, don't think that would have changed anything, me knowing that, but it was kind of cool. And I think it got me pretty stoked about running. Cause I, I don't know, I love that stuff and to be, to sort of see that potential or possibility sort of right that close is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's definitely a solid little confidence booster finishing the race and being like, what was one spot out of like the U S team. And I'm just here to train. <laughs> that's awesome. Do you, um, so what, so now we're, you're beyond the trail season and here comes this, you know, potential new trail team. I'm guessing while you're starting up skiing again, what inspired you to apply and like be a part of that? Um, I think honestly, a lot of my experience at that loon mountain race, um, Andy was there and a lot of other athletes who compete more seriously at trails were also there. And I think I was really sort of excited about how open and awesome all the people in the trail community were. And I, I think that really made me want to pursue it a little bit more. And I think yeah, I think it's such a good compliment to skiing and such a good way to keep being stoked about racing and competing and also kind of giving me a chance to interact with some people that aren't skiers and sort of a different group of people that have a lot of the same values that I have. That's cool. And so as a Nordic skier, what do you think, um, maybe just in terms of training, but maybe racing also, you can bring from Nordic skiing into the trail world that will really like help you succeed? Um, I mean, I think I have, I have a lot of experience racing and sort of the mindset behind that and the training and prep that you have to put into racing. Um, and I also think that with skiing, we have such a big emphasis on cross training and doing things that is not just skiing or roller skiing. And I think that sort of bringing that into my trail, uh, training as well, because I think that that is so important, especially in running for avoiding injury, um, doing different things and all of it can complement trail running and racing as well. That's yeah, it's awesome. nice to have that background of like cross training already in because you're way more likely to stay healthy than maybe some people who only run all year round and uh, you can at least keep yourself on your feet, prolong your career a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Do you 
So do you foresee yourself pursuing both sports kind of with the same equal equal intention or do you kind of like see you putting more eggs into the skiing basket or trail running basket? Um, I mean, I think right now I am a little bit more focused on skiing, but I see in the next couple of years, probably a transition away from skiing and towards trail running. And I think that's sort of part of the reason that I wanted to join the trail team was just because I saw it as a uh, a way to sort of start that process and explore trail running a little bit more, um, initially sort of alongside skiing, but with the possibility of that becoming my main goal in the future. That's awesome. And so what, um, kind of racing are you most excited for, um, on the trails at the moment? Yeah. Um, so as far as like specific races um i'm doing a couple in sunapee new hampshire at the end of april um those are the qualifiers for uh the world champ teams for vertical and mountain running and so i'm pretty excited about that i would say i'm not because i've been skiing all winter i'm i'm in good shape but maybe not in great running shape so i think that'll be interesting to see how that goes um and then throughout the summer i haven't totally planned it out. It kind of depends in part on how those races go, but I'm hoping to get out to Europe to race a little bit of the golden series at some point. Um, or yeah, I, I would love to trail race in Europe at least once this summer. And I think I'll make that happen (laughs) in some, some shape or form. (laughs) Which, uh, which European races do you have in mind at the moment? Um, one of the ones that I was looking at, um, let me see. was the Dolomites run. Um, and I think that's in Italy. And so that looked pretty cool. And then I hadn't totally decided or looked too closely at like the golden world series, but, um, and how I could fit maybe one of those into my schedule, but yeah, those are sort of the ones that I'm looking and dabbling with right now. That's great. Well, that one is part of the World Series, so you oh, can check okay. that box. No, it's totally <laughs> cool. fine. It's a it's somewhat a confusing series between the national series because the Dolomites race is probably also part of like the Italian national series, so right. it's like a double hitter and stuff. Um, do you think you'll do any of the U.S. ones like uh, Pikes Peak or Mammoth Trail Fest? Yeah, I'm hoping to do Pikes Peak. Um, that's the one I have kind of most definitely penciled in mammoth maybe um but pike's peak i think is more uh likely yeah it's an awesome place yeah it looks really really fun so i would like to do that one if possible yeah and it seems like motoring uphill is kind of your jam so that's perfect for you (laughs) yeah plenty of uphill in that one (laughs) a lot of uphill (laughs) so you're going to sunapee but this time you know that it is the qualifier for the... <laughs> or do you know? Oh, we should tell you. By the way, Alex, <laughs> it's a qualifying race. <laughs> I do know. Um, <laughs> yeah, Danny and I saw your name on the list. Um, we actually chatted with the Sinope, uh race directors last week, and we we were excited about the whole list, but we were excited to see you on there. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's the goal? Um... You know, I mean, I would like to qualify for the team, especially I think the vertical team is probably my most likely shot just based on the fact that I, it's going to take me a bit to build the leg speed for the downs, especially. Um, But I, I mean, I think that's definitely a bit of a reach goal for me. And so I think just doing it getting a bit more experience in a competitive field like that, because I don't really have a lot of experience racing in like more competitive stuff. Um, so, and yeah, I think I'm kind of treating that race as my starting point and see what options that opens up or what I decide I want to do if that doesn't open up options for further racing. Yeah. Yeah. The nice thing will be that at least you, uh, you're local, like (laughs) compared to a lot of the people that are going to be coming out over there, like, you know, the East coast trails and, That'll be a huge advantage because um, I can tell you an uphill downhill race on those trails for me would <laughs> my ankles would be broken. <laughs> yeah, have you had a chance to race that 
course before or have you been there? I have not. I think I'll probably try to go out there. I mean, it's so close, like before yeah. the races, just to kind of check it out and see what's up. Um, there's probably a lot of snow right now, but <laughs> once that kind of mellows out a bit, I'd like to check it out and get a little bit of a sense of those trails. But yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so it seems like you've got kind of a tentative schedule right now. So um we won't badger you too much about your schedule, but <laughs> for now we've got Sun of P and then uh what comes after Sun of P for you? Um that's sort of the area that I'm not totally sure yet. Yeah. And so I think that that would depend. Like if I qualified for worlds, I would definitely go to that. Yeah. Um and I think if I didn't qualify for worlds, I would try to hit some other European races during that period. And I haven't totally worked that out yet or talked with my, I have to to talk a little bit with my ski coach to make sure that it fits (laughs) fits with our plans. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, I would like to get out to Europe and race a bit, whether that's for worlds or for gold series or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what does like the ski season look like in terms of like what time of year do you guys start and end? Uh, Cause I just don't know much about the Nordic skiing world. And I imagine that even being a pro is a different, a little bit different than like the collegiate skiing yeah. Uh, season. Yeah. So we start racing at sort of the end of November and I just finished racing like a week ago. Um, okay. And it's, we race pretty like not every week, but most weeks and a lot of the ski races, it'll be kind of like four races in a row or four race like chunks. Um, so you'll do, it's a lot of racing. Um, and it's by the end of the season, I'm, I'm pretty tired of ski racing and ready to take a little breather from that. Um, but yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. That's a, that's a pretty long season, especially if you're competing so frequently, at least with a trail running season, you probably won't compete that frequently. Yeah. Um, and so you have a coach for Nordic skiing. Do you plan on having a coach for, um, trail running? Are you going to coach yourself? Like, what do you think that's going to look like? Um, I think sort of for right now, I, I won't have a specific trail coach. Um, I'm hoping to work a little bit with sort of Andy and the trail team to help get a little bit of guidance on their thoughts of they've already been providing resources with like races and that type of thing. Um, and so getting some guidance there, um, and this, yeah, I think this first season of trail racing, it's kind of, I'm just kind of starting out and I'm going to try to race with a little bit more intention than I did last year and see where that takes me. And then I think, I mean, I think in the future, especially if I was to phase out skiing a little bit more, um, searching for a little bit more guidance and coaching with that. Yeah. Cool. Um, so last question would be, what are you most excited about, um, for joining the trail team? Um, I think I'm just excited to be a part of a different group of people. Um, and, a group of people that are from sort of different places and with different backgrounds. Um, like I think, yeah, a bunch of our athletes, the athletes are track athletes. And I think that they bring a really different experience to the table than what I've had. And so I'm interested in sort of learning from them and hearing, uh, yeah, a bit more of their side of the sport as well. I think you can, you can take a lot from other athletes. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's cool that you guys, um, have like a mix of backgrounds and it's not just all track athletes. Cause I think track athletes can definitely learn a thing or two from you and you can learn some stuff from them. And, um, yeah. we like the more we talk to you guys and the more we talk to, uh, Andy and Grayson about it, like, we're just so stoked to see what you guys are going to do this year. Um, cause I just think having a team is so cool in the trail space. Cause it's just not yeah not really what we do at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes for you guys. And, um, so any last shout outs, um, things you want to say, Instagrams to plug (laughs) or before we leave the podcast behind? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm just really excited to be part of the trail team. And, uh, I think it'll be cool to see, yeah, to do a bit more racing this season. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And um, hopefully we'll get to check in with you kind of later in your season to see how it's all going. Um, yeah, because for sure. We want, we want to keep everybody up to date with how the trail team is. <laughs> uh, awesome. This yeah. has been the SubHub Podcast brought to you by Free Trail. And have a wonderful day, Alex. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>